What is going on everyone? Bitter Hyena here. It is time for the second half of the Legend Awakened Tie Booster Box. Now, if you have not seen the first video, click the iCard up here, go on over there, check it out. We got some really amazing pulls just in the first 20 packs of this box. This box contains 60 packs total. So we still have a lot of time for some great pulls. And other than that, let's just jump straight into this. I am excited to see if we can pull our first secret rare from this box. So let's get right into it. Pack number one. Let's see if we can get some first pack magic here. We got a Mudsdale, a Rolet, Sneasel, yeah, Sneasel, Darkness Energy, a Kakuna, and a, I believe is what is Timer Ball, I think. Like I said in the last video, I can't remember a lot of these trainers just just by the pictures of them. It's been so long since I've seen them. These, ooh, didn't think we were going to see that in here either. This is another promo. This was a set promo. The Lugia that we pulled in the last one was actually a movie promo from the Pokemon movie that came out last summer. So we've got Galissapod. Very cool card, though. I love the artwork on that. Uh, Passimian, a Togunamaru, Darkness Energy. Selgor? Yeah, Selgor and an escape room. So hopefully the pulls in these videos will be a little bit balanced because like I said, we did pull a lot of cool looking cards. Very shiny cards in the last video. Hopefully we can get some more. Not as many though. Gotta save some for the rest of these videos. Alright. Next pack. Still nothing. Not even a hollow. I will say though, it is pretty neat seeing all of these different promo cards just as regular cards in the set. I don't remember that one at all. That is such a cool looking Zygarde. I really don't remember that. If you do know what that's from, let me know. Got a Rog and Rolla, a Rotom Dex. Oh, what is that, like Looker Mode or something like that? We got a Grass Energy and a Lolan Rattata. Okay. Next pack. Let's see what we got here. I was going through the bulk the other day of what we've pulled so far in this box. And I gotta say, there's not a lot of doubles. I'm kind of surprised. Oh, there is our first hollow. We got Alolan Executor. And then this is actually one of my favorite hollows too. It's got such goofy artwork. Alolan Executor is just a goofy Pokemon. But yeah, not like I was saying, not a lot of doubles. It's it's kind of cool. I mean, being a box this big and with so many different sets, you think you would, uh, well, I don't know. I mean, there is a lot of packs. You would expect to at least double up on a lot of stuff, but I mean, you don't, at least so far not. And there is our next holo. We got Sharpedo. Maybe in this video is the one we are going to start pulling a lot of the hollows and stuff like that. All right, next pack. What are we, almost 10 in, something like that? We got Decidueye, a Pest Simeon, Togodomaru, a Darkness Energy, another Selgor, and on the end, <laughs> another Hollow. We got a Lolan Raichu. So yes, this is going to be a very heavy Hollow video as I'm taking it. <laughs> I gotta say, we're probably gonna pull a ton of hollows from this box. All right, so we've got a Super Potion, I think. Paris, whatever Rog and Rolla's next form is. We got a Water Energy, little OO guy, I still can't remember the name. And there is our first Secret Rare. Oh, it is another Hyper Rare. Oh my goodness. Now, if you've seen my single pack openings for the tie set, you'll know that I've already pulled one Hyper Rare for this set. It was the Alolan Golem. Oh my goodness, I wasn't expecting to pull a second one. Wow, you know what? Hold on for a second, let's take a look at that. That looks so cool. Oh my goodness, I love that. Still cannot remember your freaking name. I cannot get any of those Pokemon that have the O's at the end right, ever. What so freaking ever. Get the little stand up here. So, all right, there is what might be our only secret rare for the box. 
like I said, I have seen people pull more than one, upwards of three in one box, but it does say on the outside of the box that you're only guaranteed at least one, so we'll see, who knows. We got a Barb Roach, a, the cuter form of that ugly looking rabbit. We got Darkness Energy, a Skidoo, I remember that one finally. And Aether Foundation Conservation Area or something like that. I know it's got a long name. I knew I do know that. Alright, and they actually made a gold card of it too. I forgot all about that one too. Alright, let's see here. Oh, starting off with Tapu Coco, which is another promo that we've had. A hey, Hound Hour. We got Wimpod. A hey, Water Energy. Execute and a counter energy. So the counter energy gold card is probably in the set. And I'm gonna go ahead and say it now, because uh, I noticed myself do it just now. Uh, there is a chance as I'm talking, you will hear, man, I do love that card. That was from a deck, I believe. That's how I was saying, uh, there may be a chance you'll hear my voice start to go in and out. I've been sick the last couple of days and I started to lose my voice yesterday and which is why I didn't record this video yesterday but I left work early today to try and rest and get feeling a little bit better I'm not not wanting to completely work myself to the bone so so apologies if my voice starts to go out we got non hollow Alolan Exeggutor I love that they're doing that Pikachu a Surskit a Psychic Energy, another Alolan Raichu, and I believe that is the deck promo too. It was the same one that came with the Midnight Form of Lycanroc, and we got a Great Ball. All right, I'd say we're probably about halfway through. What are we at? I got one here, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, okay. So eight more packs for the second half of this awesome tie box. We've got a Victory Bell, which that art is awesome. We got, oh, what is your name? Scrafty. Yeah, Scrafty. We got Noibat, a Fire Energy, Pass Simeon, and a Soul Rock. Might be looking like our only major pool is going to be that Hyper Rare. We haven't even seen another Shining card yet either. All right, we've got Lunatone, a Hound Hour, another Hound Hour. Wimpod, a Water Energy, Execute, and there is Hoopa as our next Hollow. One from, what was it, Shining Legends, yeah, Shining Legends. Alright, next up here, now I did do a little bit, of res little bit more research into this. I do believe it has, this set does have some of the GX Battle Boost cards in it. Uh, I believe Faramosa was one of those. So if we get Faramosa, that's where it's from. Oh, yes, they do have a hollow one of that. That is such a good looking hollow of Galizapod. Oh, yes. Very, very happy with that one. Nice. I will definitely take that. I don't think I was able to get the set promo of that one when it originally came out. All right. One to the front. We've got... Honch Crow starting off with another Scrafty. I, man, it still sounds wrong to me. Noibat, a Fire Energy, a, another Passimian, and there is the hollow version of that Lugia. I was so hoping there would be one, and there is. Thank goodness. That is such a good looking hollow. That's probably one of my favorite hollow Lugias, to be honest. Such a nice looking card. All right, three more packs, almost done with this second half of the box. Let's see what we can end this video with. We've got Heracross, a Dino, a Snuffle. That's Snuffle, yeah. Something, yeah, whatever. Fire Energy, uh, Cacteas, Cacturn, Cacturn, there we go. And a Great Ball. Remembered it halfway through saying it. All right, next pack. Two packs left. Let's get something. Let's pull another shining card. It's been a while since we've seen one. We've got a Midnight Form Lycanroc, a Bell Sprout, Hound Doom, which man, that has always been some intense artwork. We got a Darkness Energy, a Sandy Gas, and on the end, well, 
I freaking called that. There is our next shining card. We got Shining Genesect. Oh my goodness. Like I said, if this is your first time watching one of these videos, look how crazy these shining cards are. That border is just ridiculous. I love it. I didn't think that you could get better than Japanese cards, but these shining cards, man, that border really does it. And what is also cool too is you still got the hollow little shining symbol there at the bottom, which in the English set we did not get. So very cool. Just improving on the normal, awesome Japanese quality of cards. All right. <clears throat> Let's see what we got here. One pack left after this. Ooh, been a long time since we've seen him. I want to say Gigalith is what I remember his name to be. We got Carnava, a Weeping Bell, a Metal Energy, a very cool Alolan Geodude artwork. Very nice there. And another Shining card. We got Shining Celebi. Oh my goodness. Oh please, we've got to get some good pulls of this last bot or the last video. Probably get a lot more GXs and maybe one more Secret Rare. That is my guess at least. Very cool. Shining Celebi there. Man, I love that subtle texturing. So both of the grass shining cards, very nice. And we'll take both of them. All right, last pack here. Let's see what we can end this second half of 20 packs for this booster box. So let's see here. We got that dude. I still cannot remember your name. We got a Paris. Rock and roll of second form right before Gigalith. Got a water energy. Little OO dude again. And we got a hollow Hydragon. So yes, ending with another hollow. And like I said, very heavy hollow video here. So yes, for the next 20 packs, man, this is great. I mean, this is about what you would expect out of a Japanese booster box here, out of 20 packs at least. I mean, we got two shining cards here and a hyper rare. And plus what seven hollow cards and man these two all oh, so happy to pull those two do a quick little recap of our pulls here though major pulls that is we got a shining celebi as our next shining card along with shining genesect very nice i still need this one in english that's the only one i need in english too actually maybe we'll grab a couple more of those boxes from walmart and see if we can pull it and then our secret rare for this part of the box hopefully we'll get at least one more the dude that i still cannot remember his name but either way though it is still a very nice hyper rare very nice subtle texturing just like in the japanese cards cannot complain with any of this seriously such a good box so far but alrighty guys this concludes day two of the legend awaken tie booster box so if you enjoyed this video hit that like button if you're new subscribe and check out another video while you're at it don't forget to hit the little bell button, get notifications when more videos go up. And stay tuned for Friday because we will be opening up the last 20 packs for this box. And as things are going, I'm pretty sure we are going to be getting some more fire pulls. But as always, guys, thank you so much for the love and support. It is greatly appreciated. And I will talk to you all later. See ya.